Bach here with Classroom Composers. And in today's video lesson, we're going to learn how to open our trombone case. We're going to learn about what should be inside your trombone case. We're going to learn about the parts of the trombone. We're going to learn how to build the trombone. And then we're going to learn uh, how to maintain the trombone and how to clean it. This is going to correspond with lessons two, three, four, and five in the pre-method book. So let's get into it. Okay, so uh, this is my trombone case. This is a hard case, meaning that it's made out of hard plastic. And it's important to note that even though the trombone's in the case and we have a nice hard case on this trombone, your trombone is not 100% protected from anything kind of crazy that might happen to it. So if this gets hit by a car because you left it out or if you drop it from somewhere really high, uh, don't expect this case to protect the instrument. What case is good for is that if you're walking along, you actually bump into something, your trombone will be fine from that. So make sure that you can do continue to take excellent care of your trombone even though it's in its case. Okay, so let's start off with how to open the case. So the first thing is that you want the case to be flat on the floor because this is a large instrument and we don't want to be balancing it on our lap or anything like that. The next thing is we have to figure out which part of the case is the lid and which part is the bottom of the case. So there's a few ways to do that. The way that I like to do it is I look for the latches and you want to move the latches up to unlatch it and that's going to let us know that the trombone is facing the right direction so there's the latches. The other thing that you can do is that the brand or the logo of the case is, is always on the lid so here's our brand and our and our logo and so that's going to be on the top and then sometimes the other way to tell is that um, the two parts of the trombone the upper part the lid will be smaller than the bottom part of the trombone case so before you open it up just make sure that you check that you have the correct side facing up so that nothing falls out of the instrument when you open it so now you're going to open it up and we're going to look for some parts here you're going to have your trombone slide which is right here you're going to have the body of, of the trombone which is going to be right here and then inside the case um, you'll have your mouthpiece and you'll have some cleaning supplies as well you'll have a spray bottle for the slide and then you should have tuning slide grease and trombone slide grease you also might have some other things that are not in my case, such as a snake or a mouthpiece brush or a polishing cloth, and those things might be in your case as well too. So if you're missing something, make sure that you let your teacher know what you're missing. Okay, so let's go over the parts of the trombone. So we're going to go ahead and start with the trombone slide right here, and I'll get a little bit closer so that we can see. This is the trombone slide. This is what's going to allow us to play different notes. What you're going to have first is you're going to have the water key, which is right here that's going to empty the water. You're going to have the slide tip, which is right here at the end of the slide. On the other side of the slide, you're going to have the slide lock, which is going to unlock to allow the slide to move. And when it's locked, it's going to keep it in place so it doesn't fall out. The next part of our trombone is going to be the body of the trombone, which I will take out. And this is the body. You're going to have the bell, which is where the sound comes out of and it's shaped like a bell. And then you're going to have the, the locking mechanism here that will attach the body of the trombone to the slide. And then on the back side, you're going to have the tuning slide. And uh, the tuning slide extends out like that. And uh, once you learn how to tune your trombone, this is going to be something very important that you're going to need. And also inside of our case, the final part of our trombone is going to be our mouthpiece. So let's go ahead and go over how to build our trombone. The first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take out the slide and you're gonna wanna make sure that your slide lock is on. So uh, I cannot move my trombone, so this is good. You're gonna place your trombone slide on the floor so that it's facing straight up so we're actually perpendicular with the floor. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the body of the trombone and you're going to carefully insert the body of the trombone into the slide of the trombone and it's only going to fit one direction it's not going to fit on this one right there and so we're going to insert it carefully right there and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look to form a 90 degree angle so this is a 90 degree angle just like this this would not be good this isn't good so we want to form our 90 degree angle like that once you've formed your 90 degree angle you're going to carefully twist and this will lock the slide and the body in place so that it doesn't move. So now we're all set to go with that. And the final thing that we need to do is we need to find our trombone mouthpiece. 
and we're gonna put our trombone mouthpiece in the trombone. We're gonna drop it in. We're gonna give it a quarter twist to the right, and then that should be enough friction right there to make it so that the mouthpiece does not fall out of the trombone. You don't need to twist it, you don't need to hit it in, just place it, give it a quarter twist, and you're all set to go. So now that we've done that and we've built our trombone, we're gonna take it apart and then we're gonna learn how to clean it and to maintain it. So when you're taking apart your trombone, you wanna take your mouthpiece out first and you just need to give it a little twist out and it should come out easily. And we're gonna return our mouthpiece back to the case. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna unscrew our lock right here all the way. And now we're gonna carefully twist apart the slide from the body. We're gonna put our body back in the case and these only fit in one direction so if it's not working you just need to flip it around and try something different because uh, there's only one way that these that this instrument will fit in the case and the last thing is we're going to put our slide back and then just like that we can latch it up and our trombone is safe in its case so now let's go over some maintenance items the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to learn how to grease our trombone slide. When you're playing, and if you're finding that your trombone slide does not move very well or does not move very quickly, you're going to need to put some slide grease on here to make this move a little bit faster. This is not a daily thing. You only need to kind of do it as needed. So what you're going to do is you're going to look for your trombone slide grease which is gonna be different than the tuning slide grease. So just make sure that you have the right one. It should say on the lid. So what we're gonna do is, and I'll go ahead a little bit closer here, is that we are going to carefully take off the slide so that the inner slide is exposed. And we're gonna put this somewhere safe. So my safe spot's gonna be right here on the chair right behind me because if we dent this, or if we dent that, the slide's not gonna work very well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a small bit of slide grease on my finger. And what I'm gonna do is I've got it on my pointer finger. I'm gonna spread it to my thumb, so it's on both fingers, and I'm gonna go around the slide just like this. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, just to spread it around. And you just need a thin layer, so I, have really not put that much on. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your spray bottle. And uh, this is just water inside of the spray bottle. So uh, nothing fancy. And then you're just gonna give it a spray. And once you've given it a spray, you're gonna grab your trombone slide back. And you're going to carefully insert the slide the inner slide back onto the outer slide just like this and then go ahead and move it a few times and now this should move a lot easier and there we go now make sure also that the locking mechanism right here is on the same side as the slide lock that's going to be a good way to tell that you put the slide on correctly okay so now the next thing that we're going to do is we're, we're going to learn how to use our water key and um, when you're playing your trombone, what's gonna happen is that all the air that you're blowing through your instrument, that air is going to stay inside the trombone, it will condense, and it'll, and when air condenses, it turns into water. And so what's gonna happen is that as you're playing, water's gonna build up, it's gonna start making a gurgly sound, and when it makes a gurgly sound, it's not gonna sound very good, so you're gonna have to empty your water key. So at the very end of the trombone right here, you're gonna see the water key. And you're gonna to need to check this multiple times while you're playing, and especially when you're done playing. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna blow some air through, open your water key up, and then some water will come out there. Make sure that you're emptying your water key somewhere uh, that you've been allowed to empty it. So uh, maybe that's outside, maybe that's on a paper towel, maybe that's in a trash can, but you wanna avoid places like a hardwood floor. Okay, the final thing that we're gonna learn how to do is we're gonna learn how to grease our tuning slide. So we've, we've done the main slide, but we need to do the tuning slide as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and take off the body of the trombone so that we can see this a little bit easier. 
And you're going to need to be able to move your tuning slide, especially uh, later on as you play when you learn how to tune your trombone. And you're going to do this in a very similar manner as you did your main slide. So what you're going to do is you're going to carefully remove the main tuning slide. I'm going to set my bell on the floor there. And then you're going to use your tuning slide grease, remember which is different. And I'm going to take a little bit on my finger and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread this out again. I'm going to put it on one side. I'm going to put it on the other side and just get it all spread out. I'm going to grab my body to help spread it around. I put it in one side, spread it around like that. Put it in the other side, spread it around. Put the whole thing back together. And now I'm greased and I'm ready to go. Main tuning slide, you only need to do that as needed. Your trombone slide, you only need to grease that as needed. Your water key, you're gonna to wanna to do multiple times a day. And make sure that you're taking excellent care of your trombone and that you're, you're memorizing how to build it and you're taking good care of it uh, while it's in this case and it'll last you a long time.